guys, okay so today's video is all about translating shapes. So if you're from our school, you've probably been sent home in year 6 with one of these SATS question booklets. The questions that we're going to look at today are in there, so if you've had a go at them you can actually use your booklet to go through those answers and check that you've got them right. Question number 1. Here is a shape on a grid. The shape is translated so that point A moves to 7, 8. Draw the shape in its new position. Use a ruler. So there are a couple of important things you need to remember for this question. First of all, when it comes to coordinates, you have to remember that you go across the x-axis first and then up the y. I always remember it as you go along the corridor and up the stairs. The second thing you need to remember is that it is point A that we are moving. So when you draw the entire shape again, the point where you've moved point A to has still got to be in the same part of the shape. Now if you have a look at the last part, the last instruction, it tells you to use a ruler. If your drawing is not neat and accurate, you will lose marks. You have to make sure that you are drawing on the lines and you are drawing it to the same size that it originally was. Some of my children fell into the trap when they did this of not drawing it the same size and they've done all of the hard work to move it to the right place and then just lost a mark on the drawing. So just make sure that you're doing that bit correctly. So, let's have a look at moving it to 7, 8. Started from 0, and I've moved across 7, and then I have moved up 8. So where my point is now is the new position of point A. All I need to do now is I need to draw my shape in its new position. Now remember that I still have to have point A in the same position on my shape now that it's drawn. Some of my class fall into the mistake of drawing the shape including the dot but drawing it in a different position. So if you have a look now, so this is what the new shape will look like. As you can see my point is still in the same place in my shape as it is on point A in the original shape. So that is my shape now translated into its new position. Question number two. Here is a shaded shape on a grid. The shape is translated so that point A moves to point B. Draw the new shape in its new position. Now this one's nice and easy, you don't have to really con worry too much about the translation because it has told you where it's moving to. Again, all it's making you do is make sure that your point B is in the same position on your shape as it is in point A. You need to count carefully how many squares your lines go through and again, you must use a ruler in order to answer these questions. If you make a mistake, you have got to make sure that you rub out your line so that nobody can see it or make it very clear that you don't want us to accept that line as being correct. So let's have a look move to shape B. As you can see the points are still in the same place on the shape, they're still in that one right hand corner and I have drawn my shape so that it goes through the same number of squares in the same types of diagonal lines. You have got to be accurate. Now I really like this question Translate this shape three units up and two to the right. So it has already done that for you, it's moved the shape. The question is, what are the coordinates of A after translation? Now remember, A in shape in triangle one, the first one in the orange triangle, has got to be in the same place on the blue triangle. So that means it has got to be the first part of my triangle where the arrow is. That is going to be point A. So you need to find the correct coordinates. Now, as we said before, you may remember you go along the corridor and up the stairs, so along the x-axis and up the y. So if we go along the x-axis, I can see that I go to the number 3 to get in line with the first part of my triangle. And then I go up to number 5, coordinate of 3, 5. So as you can see, it has moved across 3 and up 5. Next question then, here is a triangle drawn on a coordinate grid. Translate the triangle 
but sorry, the triangle is translated seven right and up five. Draw the triangle in its new position. Now, this question doesn't give you a letter for any of the parts of your shape. So you can just choose which point of the shape you are going to translate from. But you have to remember that if you translate, for example, from the middle point, that you are drawing the shape from the same point again. So here, I chose the first point on my triangle as the one I was going to translate. I have translated it seven by going across seven squares, and then I have gone up five. So where the point is now, that has got to be the same point of the triangle that I'm about to draw. Drawn in exactly the same orientation, drawn with a ruler as neatly as possible to make sure that I don't drop any marks. Right, next question then. A triangle is translated from position A to position B. Complete the sentence. The triangle has moved squares to the right and squares down. Now, you must go from point A to point B. You could go from another point in the triangle to the same point in the other one, but if they've given you ones with letters, I would definitely go for those ones. So what you would do is you would start on point A, and the first thing it's asking you to do is find out how many squares it has moved to the right. So starting from point A, count across your squares until you get into the line that is in line with the letter B, and write your answer in the box. And then once you have got to that point, you would then count how many squares you would then count down until you get to the letter B. And then that should answer the second part. I've gone from the one letter to the other, from A to B, and I have gone across six squares, and then I have gone down five. <laughs> 